especially Cartesian. cylindrical and spherical coordinate systems. Every point ultimately is represented as the point of intersection of three surfaces represented as a point of intersection of three surfaces. If you are sitting in a room, just see one of the corners. At each and every corners, maybe three surfaces are meeting. If you are there in a regular room, two walls and the roof or the ground. Because of which, It has three coordinates, no? Coordinate 1, coordinate 2, coordinate 3 in all these coordinate systems. Coordinate 1 is what? Surface 1 is equal to constant 1. Coordinate 2, surface 2 is equal to constant. That's C2. Coordinate 3, surface 3 is equal to constant. We developed it like this. Cartesian coordinate system. Quickly. If you are not there, uh, I expect you to ask questions sincerely, right? And anyway, see that video of three-dimensional coordinate system once in Cartesian. All the surfaces are plane surfaces. All are planes. Infinite planes, of course. In which, listen carefully, this is how I developed it. We were discussing the two-dimensional coordinate system with respect to mutually perpendicular x and y axis. If we Move these lines from the plane, right? Each line x axis moved in the direction perpendicular to the plane, it generates a surface. That surface is this. Extending in the perpendicular direction outside the board. This part is getting into the board and this part is coming out. In the same way, extend this line also vertically, vertical line in the direction perpendicular to the board. Now, the direction perpendicular to the board is Z. This plane is yz plane. 
y axis extended in the direction this plane is xz the plane xz plane cuts y axis at y is equal to 0 because of which it is y is equal to 0 plane y z plane cuts x axis at x is equal to 0 because of which it is x is equal to 0 plane and the normal x y plane is what mutually perpendicular to these things x y plane is normal x y plane is z is equal to 0 plane and it cuts z axis at z is equal to 0 and this x y plane x z plane and y z plane meet at the point called as origin Now every edge of the room you see is a line of intersection of two surfaces. When any of these two surfaces intersect, they intersect along a line. Check it once. I want you to check this. It is customary for us to take this as x axis, this as y axis, x y plane. X axis is coming perpendicularly out from the board actually. Y and z axis are there on the board. This is the actually one plane. Anyway, that x z plane. This is x y plane. This is proper y z plane. These are three mutually perpendicular planes extending. I'm, I'm going showing only a part of it. They are infinite planes. Carefully, this is x y sorry y z plane y z plane or x is equal to zero plane because it cuts x axis at x is equal to zero. This is xz plane because it cuts, yeah, xz plane, which is y is equal to 0 plane because it cuts y axis at origin, correct? This is y axis. Negative direction is this. Negative direction for x is this. Downward is the negative z direction. And the horizontal plane is xy plane or z is equal to 0 plane. If you see, concentrate now. When we talk about x axis, is a line along which z is equal to 0 plane and y is equal to 0 plane or very, very important point for us. Y is equal to 0, comma, z is equal to 0 is the representation, equation. Like when x equal to 0, y equal to z, 0, z is equal to 0. They are planes. X axis is y is equal to 0, comma, z is equal to 0. Y axis is x is equal to 0, comma, z is equal to 0. And this, on x axis, only x coordinate is non zero. Other coordinates are zeros. On y axis, x and z coordinates are non zeros. Y coordinate changes along y axis. Z, z axis is what? 
z axis is x is equal to 0 comma y is equal to 0 is z axis you can see that only one variable fixed is a surface two variables fixed is a line all the three variables fixed a point listen carefully now i will be constructing a point as the point of intersection of three standard planes listen i am talking about this plane as x is equal to 0 plane i will now draw a plane which is parallel to it and cutting x axis at let us say x naught what is this plane x is equal to x naught plane it's infinite plane cutting x axis at x is equal to x naught it is plane parallel to y z plane for which x axis is its normal perpendicular to the surface i'll say i'll put this is x is equal to x naught plane you don't limit it to this part only it's, it's infinite plane i'm just showing that part x is equal to x naught next what is y is equal to y naught plane y is equal to zero plane is xz plane i will move it to the right so that this axis is parallel to xz plane cuts y axis at y naught this red plane is what y is equal to y naught plane this x is equal to x naught plane and y is equal to y naught plane or intersecting along this edge if you can see what is the line equation here x is equal to x naught comma y is equal to y naught on which z can be any value it is if you put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 it is z axis if i consider a line which is the line of intersection of x is equal to x naught plane and y is equal to y naught plane i want to represent that line as x is equal to x naught comma y is equal to y naught that means this is the line along which x is equal to x naught plane is there as well as y is equal to y naught plane is there Now, if you look at this plane, this is x parallel to x y plane, but cutting z axis at z naught because of which this plane is z is equal to z naught plane. I want you to appreciate this fact. This z is equal to z naught plane is now cutting the line given by x is equal to x naught y is equal to y naught at this particular point because of which this is the point of intersection of x is equal to x naught y is equal to y naught z is equal to z naught planes with coordinates x naught y naught z naught please check it once They are all three mutually perpendicular planes. Things that we should know for the sake of fix.
I'll just consider. Carefully see this. I, I, I want you to uh, keep observing the change in the color, right? This is Y0 plane. This is Y0 plane. This is Y1 plane. I think you are, you are able to appreciate it, right? Y is Y1 plane, Y is equal to Y1, Y is equal to Y0, left and right faces. The hind face, hind face, left and right faces I spoke about. Now, hind face is X is equal to X0. Print face x is equal to x1. Hind face, front face. Bottom face z is equal to z naught. Top face z is equal to z1. General point. This is one point with coordinates. Only if you are observing continuously, you should know x is equal to x naught, y is equal to y naught, and z is equal to z naught. Planes are passing through this point because of which this point are the coordinates of x naught, y naught, z naught. The body diagonal, this point, opposite point. You can see that z is equal to z1, y is equal to y1, x is equal to x1, planes are passing through it because of which it is x1, y1, z1 are the coordinates of this point. There are two body diagonally opposite points in a room. The distance between these two points is each of these edges, right? I will say edge 1. What is the length of this edge 1? Tell me, this edge is, is along y, y0 to y1 because of which it is y0 difference of y1, correct? Modulus length I am talking about. What is the length of this edge? x naught difference of x1 all the four there are four edges of length y naught y1 y naught difference of y1 all are the edges right edge, edge parallel to them and to this x naught x1 there are four edges parallel to it of same length similarly vertical edges are of length z naught difference of z1 modulus When I want to know, only if you can visualize it, the distance between these two points is what? Hypotenuse of the right angle triangle with right angle here. Go to the bottom corner. On the face diagonal, you go to the opposite corner. And then go up vertically. Because of which there is 90 degrees here. The vertical line is Z minus Z naught. And the horizontal line is what? root of y0 y1 as y, y0 difference of y1 whole square 
x naught difference of x1 whole square is this horizontal side which is one of the mutually perpendicular sides this is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle because of which this length is root of this squared is x naught difference of x1 whole squared plus y naught difference of y1 whole squared plus this is actually phase diagonal squared plus z naught difference of z1 whole squared is the distance between the points x naught y naught z naught and x1 y1 z1. Maybe you need to continuously concentrate because uh, while drawing the figure, if you don't continuously see, you are lost actually. I, I want to tell a few points here. X, x, x is equal to constant. X is equal to 0. Y is equal to 0. And Z is equal to 0 are reference planes. Next. y is equal to 0, comma, z is equal to 0, when I say, is the line of intersection of the planes. So, actually the points are such that their y and z coordinates are zeros. The locus of all the points for which y and z coordinates are zeros is called as the line of intersection of the planes y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 and is called as x-axis. So x-axis is Represented as y is equal to 0, comma, z is equal to 0. In the same way, now I don't I want to write them. Y axis is x is equal to 0, comma, z is equal to 0. Only y can change. Then z axis is x is equal to 0, comma, y is equal to 0 is z axis. Next. Carefully. X is equal to X naught comma Y is equal to Y naught is the is the mathematical equation, set of equations is the line of intersection of these two planes parallel to Z axis. In this, any point on this is what? X naught 0, 0. Any point on this is with coordinates 0, Y naught 0. Y can change. Any point on this is 0, 0, Z naught. Any point on this is 0, x naught, sorry, y naught, z naught. x is equal to 0. 0, y naught, z naught, it is y z plane. Any point on this is x naught, 0, z naught. Any point on this plane is x naught, y naught, 0. You are not responding at all. It's all, no, 
monotonous things for a teacher you should know <clears throat> is the line parallel to z axis with any point on it is x not y not z any point that can be any, anything but x not x x and y are fixed x is equal to x naught, z is equal to z naught, is the line parallel to y axis, any point is x naught y, z naught, y can change on it. Now, can we, can we put here also that it is x 0 0, y 0 0, 0 0 z. Here also, 0, y, z, y, y and z can be any values, but z is equal to 0, better, better for us. Mm, x, 0, z, naught, x, 0, z, then check it, x, y, z. In the space, all the three coordinates can change. On any plane, only two coordinates can change. They are independent. In the space, if you put, fix a point, right? All the coordinates are fixed. For a point, all the coordinates are fixed. For a line, one coordinate is independent, the other two are dependent. For a surface, two coordinates are independent, third one is dependent. In a volume, all the three are independent. Degrees of freedom actually. Hmm. One more thing is y is equal to y naught comma z is equal to z naught are the planes, right? Is the line parallel to x axis with any point and it is x y naught z naught. Of course, x is equal to x naught is surface with any point on it as x naught y z intersecting x axis at perpendicular to x axis, correct? And intersecting it at x is equal to x naught y is equal to y naught is the surface with any point on it as x y naught z perpendicular to y axis and intersecting it at y is equal to y naught z is equal to z naught any value is the surface with coordinates x y independent z not fixed perpendicular to z axis and intersecting it at z is equal to z naught. Basic things, you know. Find all the coordinates fixed. No independent variables line one variable independent other two constants or dependent variables surface two variables independent one variable dependent or constant the volume all the three variables are independent 